Hi, my name is Darko, owner of Darko Lifting, and today I thought I would take you on a tour of my home gym, my warehouse, and whatever's left of my garage. Alright, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, this is just coming in from my house. This is basically the whole garage in a big sweep here. Um, well, let's go ahead and start on the gym area. So over here I have a Concept 2 Roerg. Probably don't use this nearly as much as I should. Has only about 87,000 meters on it, so not a lot of usage. I mainly use it for like two, three minutes just to warm up before I actually get a workout in. Next to that is a body solid leg press and hack squat. This is not the best leg press in the world. Uh, I just picked this up used for about 650 on Facebook. I really just like the idea of it not having horns on the outside. It's relatively compact. It matches the rest of my color scheme, which is very important. Um, but just more something just to kind of burn out, finish off my leg day, something that my wife can use and load easily, and just doesn't take up a lot of space. Next to that is a leg extension leg curl from Paramount Fitness. This I also picked up from Facebook a while ago. I replaced all of the pads on it. Um, I'll probably do the same thing with the leg press. I'm not really a big fan of using pads that other people have used before. So that's probably in the works for the leg press. Um, for this machine, it's worked out really, really well. These are just rep GHD pads. They sell a kit with the leg pads and um, basically these pads over here, which are kind of just left over. Uh, but yeah, I kind of cleaned this whole thing up. Uh, I really like it. It, uh, it works for my purposes. It just makes me feel like my whole leg day is rather complete after getting my main squats in. Uh, down here, most important thing in the gym, my dog's bed. She comes and hangs out out here during the day when I'm working. Uh, so this is barbell section number one. Uh, this is a Oak Club Club Collector. I think they call it Bar Collector something. Uh, so starting at the beginning here, this is a 5 foot Titan bar. Uh, I don't ever use this bar anymore, but it's the first bar I ever bought. So I'll be taking that with me wherever we go. This next to it is a no-name Olympic bar. I don't do Olympic lifts, so I don't really care to replace that with anything much nicer. Next to that is the Kabuki Cadillac bar. It's a great bar for pressing. Uh, I feel like this is one of the main reasons my bench got as high as it did uh, about a year ago is just the ability to bench with a lot of volume without really putting too much strain on my shoulders. Um, so back here in the middle row on the left, that is a rogue curl bar. Uh, next to that is the Oso mini bar. That's for my kids. Next to that is a rogue grab bag agro 2.8, 2.9-ish. I did throw some stainless steel sleeves on there instead of the proprietary matte black sleeves it came with, uh, just for kind of a more uniform look. Uh, but this thing's pretty sharp. I'm not, not, not sold on it yet, but I'm going to keep playing around with it. Right behind that is a power bar by CKC. Uh, this one I'm just kind of storing for one of my buddies at the moment. Uh, he happens to have a lot of barbells. <laughs> Uh, next to that is a Chewy 20, I believe. Uh, that one I'm also storing for him. And that's all backed by the Bullman Barbells Lifting Club banner. As we swing around this wall a little bit, I uh, have this TV set up uh, for when I'm working. Um, right now, just find some nice, peaceful fish. Uh, down below is Plate Snacks banner. I uh, have this little kind of utility box, extra box just for storing accessories. Uh, it used to have some rubber matting on top, which I recently took off and haven't had a chance to sand and repaint it, so it looks kind of ugly. Next to that, I have some 5.8 spotters from Titan. This is so I can test out versions of the Thresher for 5.8 spotters. A uh, little bit more complicated just because of how far that hole is and how big the lips are on the spotter arms for 5.8 racks, so there's something I still am kind of working through. Next to that is a utility card I have from New Age. This is generally a little bit taller. It's kind of for tools. I cut mine down uh, just to be better height for my Nuo Bell 5 to 80 adjustable dumbbells. I really like these. Uh, space saving, of course, you know, one of the most important things for any home gym owner. So uh, I really like them. I don't ever drop my weights. I never dropped my weights when I was at a commercial gym either. So that hasn't been an issue for me so far. 
Uh, down below, I have some shoes from uh, Notorious Lifts and some Tolos. Uh, my daughter's dumbbells in the back over there. Uh, you know, barbell hip uh, thrust pad. Um, kind of just some spare uh, double decker anchors I have. Um, and then some hitch pins, things like that down here. Uh, next to that is a Rep Fitness 4100 adjustable bench. I did have this custom handle made, it's 3D printed. Uh, instead of just kind of the black round handle on it. Uh, I really like this bench. Um, for anyone just, just looking for an adjustable bench that's not too expensive, uh, that's lightweight, easy to move. I mean, I think this is a great, uh, great option. Uh, next to that, uh, it's kind of just like a little laundry basket type thing. Um, that's just to hold uh, yoga mats, uh, some hanging leg raise straps, just a couple things just to get them out of the way. Um, especially anything that's too colorful, I'd prefer to be tucked away somewhere. Uh, so this is the wall control setup I have. Uh, we'll start left to right. Up here is a calf block I made, uh, just out of wood. Put some brackets on the bottom, um, grip tape. Uh, between me and having about 300 pounds of my weight, that's held, you know, 500 pounds. So that seems to be holding up decent enough. Uh, right here are some straps from Belt Fed Strength uh, with a custom splatter on it. Uh, really nice. Uh, here's a two grip, fat grip, you know, a fat grip handle, and then just some uh, kind of no name Amazon handles. Uh, down below is, you know, the classic triangle. I have a straight bar, uh, just 10 and 20 pound uh, bands. Uh, across the top, we have some Cerberus elbow straps, some reband knee sleeves, uh, kind of just a spare one. Um, this is kind of my DIY pulley change plate thing I made. That's one of the first things I made for my gym. Doesn't get used anymore um, because I switched to a weight stack version, but kind of just a cool thing to have in the gym still. Uh, over here, we have uh, the shorty bar. Uh, we have the stainless steel long E bar. We have a 48 inch rep fitness lap pull down bar. Uh, prime four and one and then some prime rotate handles with these kind of cool swivels on them I uh, really like those especially for using them with the shorty or the longy bar. It's a quick connect They're real they're short compared to uh, carrot and regular carabiners and they allow them to rotate. So those are really nice uh, Have some tough strap wrist wraps uh, tight fitness single handle Viking handle press thing. <laughs> I don't know uh, we have some Oak Club squat wedges, uh, use those about twice in two years. I uh, have my wife's knee sleeves, she's much smaller than me, so I had to put these low for her so she can grab them. Um, right here we have the uh, dual spiral pull down accessory. Uh, I really like this, I've been using this a lot more and more recently. Um, one thing I'm not a big fan of, it's kind of like a rubber texture. Um, not sure how long, how well that's going to hold up over time, but uh, if I can change anything, it'd be that. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Uh, just some random chains, uh, Cerberus uh, deadlift straps, and then a Bells of Steel belt squad belt. Uh, coming over to this side, two of my favorite people in the home gym community. We got Basement Brandon up top and Belt Fed Strength down below. Uh, this is the Rogue Fitness Chalk Bowl stand. Uh, don't use a ton of chalk ever since I've gotten a few different barbells um, but I got this chalk free from spider chalk I think they still have a deal or something going on uh, I got two belts both from belt to belt fed strength um, this is mine with the splatter uh, that's my wife's over here kind of with a never-ending story theme and I do have some mouthpieces for weightlifting uh, those have not made it out of the bag yet so hopefully at some point all right, so now we'll kind of get to the meat and potatoes of the gym, which is my power rack. Um, this started out as a RM3 from Rogue Fitness. And, uh, you know, at the beginning I didn't have as much space, so I've kind of been able to expand a little bit as time has gone on. So I went ahead and added a storage section by Rep Fitness. Um, these don't generally line up. So I had to cut these slots in the holes on the rep fitness uprights to get them to line up the way I wanted to. 
And a big part of the reason why I went with the Rep Fitness backside is they had 16 inch cross members. Um, for a weight stack, 16 inches to me is more than enough space. And Rogue at the time only offered 24 inch um, cross members for that side. So kind of a, you know, that was just something I wanted. I wanted to have my rack be as compact as possible, but still have the ability to have this kind of plate, you know, weight stack in the back. Um, so it's kind of just this kind of Franken rack, Rogue Rep Fitness uh, six post rack. So uh, I'll start with just some of the accessories. Uh, we'll start at the beginning at the front of the rack. Uh, this is the Voodoo Low Pulley um, that I make. I use this every time I'm doing a back day. It's really nice just because this pad rotates up and down. Um, so if you use it as a leg holder or if you want to lose it, use it as a foot plate for low rows. Um, gotta line that up there. There you go. So, and then just, you know, a number of other accessories. You can use it just kind of as a foot plate. Uh, you can use it for step ups. Uh, you know, a lot of different other exercises. Um, so that one's really cool. Um, coming around this side of the rack, uh, I do have rogue safety straps. I prefer these more than spotters or flip down safeties. I just like being able to kind of touch the strap without having that kind of jarring uh, sensation when you hit spotter arms. Uh, I do have spotter arms from Rogue Fitness. Um, these I mainly use for overhead press when I'm working outside of the rack or if I'm using the thresher pad for something like dumbbell or reverse dumbbell flies or dumbbell rows. Uh, I mean, they're nice. I, I you know, I, don't, I personally don't see any reason to invest in getting any other spotter arms um, just because of how little I use them. So these, these work fine for me. I do have the lip covers from Aperture Engineering. Uh, he does some really great 3D printing stuff. Uh, really nice looking, kind of seamless. Um, down below, these are the original J-Cups that came with my rack. These are the Rogue Monster J or Sandwich J-Cups. Um, Coming up here, I do have the Rogue AM2 Monos. Uh, I went ahead and I painted mine white just to match my rack better. Uh, I really like them for the portability purpose. Um, super easy to move around. Uh, I really, really like that. Um, I don't think the re-racking is as nice as the previous hockey stick version. Because you can kind of see it actually feels like the re-rack position is almost an inch higher than your unrack position. So depending on what type of tolerances you're playing with, that could be an issue for certain people. Um, opposite side here, I do have the Ghost Strong rollers. Uh, kind of threw my own custom decals all over those. And this also has the lip cover from uh, Aperture Engineering. Uh, at the top front of my rack here, this is the new dock uh, that has a double J anchor. Um, this one's actually kind of, I actually flipped this one upside down just to get it a little bit higher. You can see that Rogue doesn't actually have a hole in the top of their upright there. Um, but I wanted this to get as high as possible. So for me, I'm six feet tall. I can still get both, both of these bars from the top of my rack, but they're completely out of the way. You know, there's not even a, even a thought that I might run into them or hit them. Um, original barbell anchor right here. Uh, black with a white liner. Uh, that's holding my Mars bar. Uh, that's the main reason I ever made the anchor. Um, oh, the bar is in the dock here. Uh, this is a white Cerakote Texas deadlift bar and a Kabuki strength black oxide with nickel sleeves. Um, so both of these are really cool bars. Uh, obviously my deadlift bar, I deadlift in front of my rack right here. And basically this uh, Kabuki power bar is mainly for overhead press, barbell rows, things like that. Um, as we kind of move along here, I do have another uh, dock in the back, of, in the inside of my rack. That's a stainless steel uh, double J anchor. Uh, basically, use this to store both my power bars. And for me, um, you know, luckily I'm six feet tall, so this bottom bar still is above my head here, um, which is just you know, it's just one less thing to worry about. I just want to make sure I'm never really going to be running into any of these bars. Um, that's storing right now in Agro 2 from Rogue Fitness. Uh, this is probably my favorite bar at the moment. Uh, stainless steel sleeves, uh, aggressive knurling, um, but just a, and a really nice looking bar in my opinion. I like the black Cerakote, uh, just a really, really nice bar. Uh, in my monos is a Gemway Oni bar. Uh, this is also on loan from one of my buddies. Uh, this feels really nice. This is a really nice bar. Uh, the knurling on it feels really grippy. Um, 
gonna try and get some more work with it this week. It has these really cool collars. Um, let's see, you can actually see a little Oni symbol right there. So this is pretty neat. It's a cool bar. Um, keep moving on to my rack. I do have a Rogue Slinger up top. This kind of comes all the way down around here. Uh, this normally comes with a 300 pound stack. I went ahead and took off 80 pounds just because it reduced my ROM a bunch, um, which I wasn't really a huge fan of. So I have 220 pounds on my stack. I added these kind of chrome decals. You can see the reflection from my Halloween lights at the moment. Um, that's right now, it's the day two of Squatober. Um, here in the back of my rack, I do have the Rogue Bench Prop uh, for centering my bench. Um, yeah, it's fine. I, I, you know, I had a bet when I originally bought it, it was mainly to do low pulley work with kind of a DIY setup. And it worked great for that. Um, it, it works fine for centering your bench too, but uh, if that's the only purpose, I would, I personally probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, uh, behind that, I have some kettlebells. I think I have 25, 35, 45, and 55 pound kettlebells. I do have the Titan Fitness Kids pull-up bar. Um, that's kind of like a little prototype handle I'm working on. Uh, deadlift jack. We do have some Rogue Fitness leg rollers in here, uh, as well as some Rogue Aluminum mag collars. Uh, another TV in the back here. Uh, I generally like to watch movies when I'm working out, so I kind of have both TVs on and they mirror each other. Uh, up top, mobility hand. Never used that thing one time. Uh, this is kind of just a waste of a monster panel, to be honest. I bought it because it was cheap and kind of had some ideas. I was going to use it for things, and uh, yeah, that's what it holds. So not really anything of substance. Uh, backing a little bit out of my rack again. Uh, you can see the nameplate. That's a custom-made uh, LED nameplate, so the colors can change on that. Uh, it's something I kind of just made myself. Um, I do have a Rogue Monster Landmine down here. Um, I think it's really nice. Uh, the club might be a little bit nicer. Uh, I just at this point, I don't do enough landmine work to uh, upgrade my landmine. This thing seems to work fine, so uh, that's kind of what I'm going to stick with right now. I got uh, band pegs, uh, just some mag pins. These are from just some Amazon company that aren't really around anymore, but I kind of tossed my logo on that one. Uh, over here, we do have the Thresher. Um, it's great for just kind of certain dumbbell exercises. Uh, I personally hated doing reverse flies standing with dumbbells. Uh, so at least having some chest support there makes that a little bit nicer and it stores nicely on an upright. Um, yeah, just some more mag pins, of course. And I think that about does it for the power rack. Um, yeah, obviously there's still a lot on there. There's a lot on there. Over here, I do have a Rogue Competition Bench, uh, stainless steel handle. Uh, great bench. Um, didn't, wish it didn't have the Rogue in red on the side. That's, that's probably my main complaint for that thing. Uh, I kind of put this vinyl on the wall just to kind of make my rack stand out a little bit more and then put my logo up there. Uh, over here, this used to be the barbell wall before we moved the gym to the other side of the garage. Uh, now this basically is for all of our jiu-jitsu geese. Uh, me and my wife, both my daughters all do jiu-jitsu. Uh, they all tend to do it a lot more than I do. Uh, so my gi is usually the one hanging up the most. Uh, opposite side of that, this used to be an accessory wall. Uh, so I made this wall, uh, framed it myself, and it basically was for all my accessories. And I made it because I didn't have a lot of room in my garage for them. And uh, I hated looking at my HVAC unit every day, which you can see back there. And it's just kind of ugly. So I put this, made this wall, uh, I put it on these little casters. So this whole wall will roll out whenever I need to access my HVAC. And now it just kind of holds some, you know, brooms and mops, things like that. Uh, washer dryer, cabinets. Um, so now this is kind of the Darko lifting side of the gym garage um so this is kind of like my main workstation um you know where i print all my shipping labels try to answer all the customer emails um anything you know trying to update the website i do a lot of that right here um it gets pretty hot and humid in california sometimes not humid just well at times it does because the weather changes so frequently so killing mosquitoes is 
one of the main things we got to do around here when I'm working. Um, this is kind of like the shipping area of the gym for when I'm basically wrapping things in bubble wrap. Um, or I'm just waiting on certain products to just finish up. So I got some voodoo's here. Uh, I got to finish up the name foot plate on that one. Uh, these are ready to go. So these will be wrapped and packaged and shipped today. Uh, you know, down below, I just have some more storage for different parts that come in. Um, over here is my main assembly table. This is kind of my rack table. It's made from some spare uprights that I had. And I just bolted together on this butcher block. I uh, didn't do the best job in setting these bolts. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so I, then this, I have this cardboard layer around the sides. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing the longy bars and I finish them, I got to route all the edges. And these little metal pieces basically fly everywhere. So this kind of catches most of them. Then I'll just brush it out and vacuum everything inside all those little crevices on the sides. Um, you know, most of my, you know, used tools that I, you know, for assembly, um, you know, rubber mat, just to make sure we try to keep everything as nice as possible. Down below, just a very, you know, number of toolboxes, just different things I got to use. Uh, drill press. Uh, up here, we just got some more parts, uh, cleaning, uh, air compressor, um, headphones, just certain things get really loud in here. Uh, this here is a uh, Stealth Shorty. This might be up on the website here pretty soon. Um, another little tool cart. Um, you know, I've got my polisher, my angle grinder, Dremel, um, belt sander, everything basically lives down here. Um, up top, usually just if I have some parts that I'm working through. Uh, you know, you'll see, you know, I just event, you know, at times, especially now with seven products, I have kind of parts just kind of hanging out all over the garage. Uh, over here, bolts, 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 lots of bolts, lots of different size bolts, different color bolts, uh, spacers, all sorts of things for assembling the products that I ship out uh, every day. Um, back here, uh, more storage uh, for anchors, docks, uh, double decker anchors, uh, bolts, go through a lot of bolts. Um, Right now, this is actually this is actually pretty bare at the moment. I'm actually waiting on a large shipment of anchors uh, to come in, uh, in various different colors. So this usually is a bit more full. Um, so up top here, packaging material boxes. Always having lots and lots of boxes. Uh, bubble wrap. We got the garage fridge. Uh, beer, water, monsters, things like that. Juices, protein shakes. Uh, over here, some extra cabinets. Um, yeah, more storage for parts, uh, bolts, gloves. Um, a lot of that stuff's just for normal house stuff. Uh, down below again, more storage for parts, um, cleaning materials, liners, um, you know, everything of that nature, basically. Um, so that's kind of the tour of my gym and my workspace uh, if you have any questions i know it's a long video i apologize i hope it was entertaining enough or at least you saw some kind of the cool things that don't really show up in all the videos uh, but if you have any questions comments please leave them down below and uh, i hope you guys all have a uh, great day